Hey guys, Mini House from Upper Center Outdoors. I just wanted to make a quick video showing you guys the new Stealth Cam Fusion X. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and show you guys how to set them up. All right, let's bust them in this bad boy. Alright, when you open your box, so what comes with it on the in the back of the packaging, you get your instructions, self cam manual, and the strap is taped to the back of the box. Beautiful camo on this thing. Looks just like bark on a tree. Four LEDs, this antenna, so cam antenna screws right on. Once you get it tight, you can just screw the nut down. Cable lock hole. You can lock it to the tree, opens right up. That's what the inside of the camera looks like. So the first things first, when you are going to activate your camera, you have to download the command, Stealth Cam Command app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, depending on whatever phone you have. And then to get the QR code, you need to download the app so you can scan the QR code on the camera to activate it in your app. You take the battery tray out and that's how you get to your QR code and you scan it with the camera on your phone and it automatically punches in all these numbers and gives you the option to activate the camera and give the device a plan online. All right, I'm I'm searching for the app on Android, so you go to the Stealth Cam, Stealth Cam Command app. Install it. Once it's installed, you open the app. And I already signed up, so I'll just log in. Once you punch in all your information, then you're going to add batteries to your camera and turn it on. And then you'll see the sync mode will light up and you'll get a test picture. So your plan will be activated. All right, just for this video, I'm gonna put in just regular alkaline batteries. But if you wanna lengthen the time that your camera's working, I would suggest using lithium batteries. It will extend the life battery life of your camera big time but just for this video we're gonna throw aqua lines in takes eight battery eight double a's put the tray in once you get your batteries in and you have an sd card you need a class 10 card i have a stealth cam card for this actually but you need a class 10 card it'll have a 10 with the circle around it Plug it in, turn the camera on, and you'll start flashing. Lights will be green, they'll flash green. This is testing the battery, then it'll test your cell network, and then it'll test your account to see if your account's all good to go. Once, once it's all full, then you're gonna be good to go. It'll see, it'll say successful connection, and it'll be ready to go. Once you've activated your camera, you'll see it show up under cameras on the computer. You can't, on the computer, you can't activate a camera just because you have to scan the QR code. So you have to download the command app on your phone to create an account and to scan the camera's QR code to add it. Once you got it all activated, flip the switch. It has an active data plan now, so 
it'll go through all these lights. This tests the battery, tests the network connection, and then tests your account to make sure you have an active data plan. Once they're all blinking green, they'll light up all green, which once it's steady, it says connection is successful and it'll start sending pictures. From the Stealth Cam website, this is Stealth Cam Command. Um, there's StealthCam.com and then there's StealthCamCommand.com. This is how you can control your cameras. Um, so this is what your screen will look like when you're at the home screen. It'll show a list of all of your cameras. You can click on your camera. It'll show you all your pictures here. And then you can go to camera setup. You can set up your settings, custom, customize your settings for Eastern time zone, 12 hour time format, set to take pictures every five seconds. Um, you can set photo bursts, um, one to six pictures. Um, you can change the name of your camera, location, temperature, all the good stuff. And then you can go to cellular settings and tell your camera how often you want your pictures sent to you. Instantly, we'll send them as soon as they're taken. Um, instant group, you can set the group time uh, twice per day or once per day. I always leave mine at instant so I get them all, all at once. Um, have it set the transmit files, make sure that's checked so it's sending you pictures. And then this is your upload time. This is for, it takes one test picture a day and you can set, I always set mine for like nine o'clock in the morning. I just set it for 9 a.m. Click okay. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to rock and roll. I mean, there's photo tracker. It shows you a list of days. It shows you moon, weather for the week, month. List of moon phase, temperatures. Info. Shows you what your, which camera it is. Model. Camera firmware, IME numbers, all that stuff. Last sync date, so you can check on your camera, make sure it's working the way it should be. And yeah, that's pretty much the app. That's how you can change the settings. And, um, brand new out of the box, it's gonna probably need a new firmware update. So you can do that. What's nice with these cameras is you can do it remotely via the command app. Unfortunately, I couldn't show you because I'm using my phone to film the video, but if you go in the command app and you go into the cellular settings, it will show you, like there will be a red exclamation point on your home screen and it'll say like under cellular settings and then it'll show you that it needs a firmware update and I selected to do the remote firmware update and that's what it's doing right now. It's blinking red. And updating the firmware once it's all done the lights will turn off and it'll reboot just like it would normally and it'll have the new firmware on it and you'll be up and running in no time okay my camera reset all the lights turned off they flashed green and they held solid for a minute now it took a picture and it's gonna send it to my phone yep I just got it you probably didn't hear it, but just popped up, and that's it. Firmware's installed. Super easy activation, super clear pictures. Um, oh no, nice little camera. See, so it just flashed all green, which means it's gonna be good to go. Um, if you hit sync, it te it sends a test picture, which is cool. Um, yeah, that's the Fusion X. Well, that's it guys, I hope this was helpful. I'm sorry I couldn't use my phone, I was using it to film, so I didn't really get to show, go over the mobile app too much. Um, in the next one, I'll go over the mobile app and walk you through the S4K. Um, but that, that was the Stealth Cam Fusion X. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask, comment, like, subscribe. Um, if you want to order one of these cameras, you can also reach out to me and I can get you hooked up with some of these cameras. Um, thank you guys for the support.